Hello, it's Friday the 17th of June and welcome to this week's news headlines from the Christian Institute. The BBC is facing a storm of controversy after it aired another documentary on assisted suicide earlier this week. Viewers of Choosing to Die saw a motor neurone disease sufferer end his life at Dignitas in Switzerland. The programme was fronted by Sir Terry Pratchett, a well-known campaigner for assisted suicide. The corporation has received hundreds of complaints, including a strongly worded letter from a group of peers, which accuses the BBC of running an orchestrated campaign to change the law. Dr Peter Saunders from the Care Not Killing Alliance warned, We felt the programme was very unbalanced and one-sided and did not put forward the counter-arguments. But a spokesman for the BBC denied the programme was biased, saying it gave people the chance to make up their own minds on the issue. The Islamic Sharia Council has criticised a new bill in Parliament which aims to tackle the problems caused by Sharia courts operating in England and Wales. The arbitration bill was introduced last week by Baroness Cox amid deep concern that Muslim women are being mistreated under Sharia law. Her bill would make it clear in law that discrimination against women within arbitration tribunals is illegal. It would also make it a criminal offence for Sharia courts to falsely claim legal jurisdiction over criminal or family law. In a statement from the Islamic Sharia Council, Secretary Dr Suhey Hassan claims that Sharia law is needed by local communities and upholds the rights of women. But Dr Michael Nazer Ali, the former Bishop of Rochester, who grew up in Pakistan and is back in the bill, said, The problem with Sharia is that it is inherently unequal for certain kinds of people. Muslims and non-Muslims are treated unequally. Similarly, men and women are treated unequally. Christian prayers have been dropped from the beginning of council meetings at Bridport in Dorset. The new mayor, David Rickard, has decided to replace the prayers at four meetings of Bridport Town Council with a short time of private contemplation. Councillor Sandra Brown, herself a former mayor, warned that many councillors were against the decision. She said, I'm a great believer in the power of prayer and I've seen it in action, but I think for the sake of five minutes at the beginning of a meeting, it should stay. In a separate case, Biddeford Town Council is currently being sued by the National Secular Society for saying prayers at the start of its council meetings. The council is said to have had prayers at its meetings since the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Newspaper commentator Peter Hitchens was jeered by a BBC Question Time audience last week when he warned that more sex education caused more sexually transmitted infections and underage pregnancies. He said the problem of sexualisation arose when Britain ditched its Christian heritage and he also blamed the increase in sexually explicit material available on the radio, TV and the internet. Mr Hitchens was responding to a question about a report, Letting Children Be Children, which raises concerns about the sexualisation of children. The, what else is the purpose of sex education? We're told again and again, again and again that it's, suppo it's supposed to stop, it's supposed to stop underage pregnancy, it's supposed to stop sexually transmitted diseases. And what happens? The more sex education we have, the more sexually transmitted diseases. The more abortion, the more underage pregnancy we have. It's demonstrably so. The new moderator of the Presbyterian Church in Ireland has spoken out about the increasing marginalisation of Christians. Dr Ivan Patterson warned that Christians are having their wings clipped in a politically correct world. And he highlighted the recent case of a Christian GP in England who discussed his faith with a patient and is facing disciplinary action. He said, we've seen how a Margate doctor, Richard Scott, is before the medical council because he spoke to a patient of his faith. Now he may have to pay the consequences, which he says he is willing to do, and so may we, if we are to be faithful to the Lord's commission. Dr Scott's case has been backed by the Christian Legal Centre. Lambeth Council in London has put out an appeal to same-sex couples to help make up the shortage in foster carers in the capital. The council is using Father's Day as a focus to urge single men, homosexual men and same-sex couples to come forward and find out more about fostering. Yet no specific appeal has been made for more heterosexual married couples. Council chiefs said they wanted to dispel the myth that single-sex couples or homosexual men are not eligible to foster. A fostering network spokesman said, There is a real shortage of carers in the capital and hundreds more are urgently needed. We would urge anyone who has thought about it to get in touch with their local fostering service to find out more. Well, that's all for this week. For more information and regular updates on all of our stories, plus much more, 
visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.